Hi there, this is Farmer Brad and on today's video I'm going to just make it a quick video but wanted to give you an update about my exploration about what it takes to turn pastured poultry into chicken jerky. So I met this guy in a nearby town who makes uh, turkey jerky, beef jerky uh, commercially and I asked him a lot of questions. This has been a very uh, good learning process of what it takes to be able to uh, make uh, jerky in general. So one thing, uh, so I uh, gave him a pound of chicken breast and he was able to turn it into uh, two bags of jerky for me to try as uh, samples and um, what he was going to try to do was work it into his um, turkey jerky uh, workflow. Um, but unfortunately, that's not going to work because we found out that uh, cutting the slices for the chicken breast, there's a lot of tendons and stuff um, that it ends up being pretty time consuming. So, if I want to move forward with this endeavor, I will first have to find a commercial kitchen that I can rent and then um, I'll have to figure out the recipe of what works well and then I'll have to send a sample off to a uh, food laboratory that will generate the nutrition analysis on the side. And he told me that uh, it can, it can uh, be about $700 per flavor. So. Um, but the positive things I'm thinking about having the benefit of having chicken jerky at the farmer's market is this is less of a commitment to purchase than an entire whole pastured frozen chicken. This you're able to put in the car, snack on it, different things. Uh, the other is that once this would be commercially packaged then you have a year that it will stay so it doesn't require refrigeration once it's packaged and then I would also be able to sell it online uh, around the United States and so that would give me an added benefit of being able to uh, sell my pastured uh, poultry um, in another form uh, outside of the local area Part of the reason why a lot of people don't do chicken jerky, I found out from research, is that chicken breast is pretty much the highest quality of meat that's on a chicken, and so you can typically end up making more money by selling it separate, um, skinless uh, chicken breasts um, and the such. I saw on a on an online uh, farmer's market uh, that you could get uh, two skinless chicken breasts for about ten dollars, um, which uh, that may vary around the United States. Um, but yeah, so uh, I would like to go ahead and give this a try. Now, the chicken jerky that I made at home, I just used whatever recipe was um, the first one that came up on Google uh, for chicken jerky. Uh, this. Great American Jerky uh, is the company, but he used his um, turkey jerky. Um, so I'll first try the original flavor. And I'm sorry that smell of vision and taste of vision uh, doesn't work on YouTube, but mmm. Uh, wow. Wow. Very flavorful. Mmm, that is some really good stuff. So this is the teriyaki flavor. Wow. So my thoughts with the uh, chicken jerky is that I can promote it as non-GMO, pasture-raised, and Indiana grown. Now, Indiana Grown is a marketing program that Indiana has to really promote uh, products 
um, agriculture, different things that are grown in Indiana. So um, that would be uh, nice to be able to add that to the, to the label as well. Um, so I'll put a link for uh, Great American Jerky um, description of this video and uh, check out his website and you can order his uh, beef jerky, uh, turkey jerky um, that he has on there um, for a pretty reasonable price. Now moving forward, if I'm able to find a commercial kitchen that I can rent, his recommendations to me is since the slicing process is so um, labor intensive to grind up the the uh, chicken breast meat and then put it in a jerky gun and then be able to make consistent slices or uh, pieces um, similar to beef jerky and then that would make it more um, time effective and eventually more cost effective. Let me know your thoughts about uh, chicken jerky and uh, you know Am I going to make tons uh, tons of money if I'm able to get this uh, chicken jerky operation up and running? Probably not. But my thought is is that if I can give a relatively healthier option for chicken jerky then um, and promote it as the non-GMO, the pasture poultry, then I can make it a premium product that can draw people in for um, other things that I sell. I sell chicken rental packages, I sell automatic chicken water buckets, pasture poultry, and uh, in the near future I'm going to be wholesaling uh, some chicken to uh, restaurants and grocery stores. So um, on a small scale still because I can only uh, raise in a batch about 75 birds at a time. Uh, but uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, and your thoughts, and uh, yeah, this is this is pretty good. So thanks for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe and share this channel. Uh, we still have a long way to go before I'm able to monetize this channel. Um, but I thank you for all of the subscribers that we currently have, um, and let me know if there's a particular type of video that you'd like me to make. Uh, explore the homestead I have here. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching and take care.